Dang it, Spike! Why can't you go the way I want you to go? Okay. So yeah, if you land on Spike, um, or Spike's space, he will, you'll get to go five more spaces. So it's beneficial. Gotta love Spike! Um, so yeah, Tommy's a baldy, uh, Chucky's the redhead, I'm going to bed, apparently. Um, Phil and Lil are the twins, with, you know, brown hair. Angelica's the blonde, like, spoiled kid. Not that all blondes are spoiled, I'm just adding that to her character. Um, and then their, you know, goody-goody friend Susie was the um, black girl, like, obviously. Um, so, yeah, so you had, like, all these different racial types, hair types, whatever. They usually do that in um, shows to show diversity. But they didn't have an Asian yet, so let's add in Kimmy to make everybody feel included. And let's ruin the show... Not because of that, but because we didn't write well enough for this. If it would have been written well, no one would have even looked at that. But instead it was written really poorly, so it just makes it out like, oh, well we added this character because we needed to show diversity that we're not against Asians. And nothing in the show said that they were against Asians in the first place. It's just a... it's a cartoon. Like, it's not... Uh, come on. And no, not everybody looks the same, but not everybody looked the same in the show to begin with. So what was the big controversy? I don't know. Um, I gotta bust out of here! That's what I say when I wake up from bed every day of my life. I feel like everyone's gone in that room. Where where was I? Was I in here? I don't know. I'm going in here because I think that's where I was. No, this isn't where I was. Oh well. Um, so yeah, they just like played the race card kind of and we're like, well, we need every race in here and we'll sacrifice good writing so we can have that. It's like the Brady Bunch factor. Like why why are we going back to Brady Bunch mentality? Can we progress further, please? Um, so I just not a fan of either of those ideas. Not a fan of Kimmy, not a fan of Kira, not a fan of Dill. Um, they all were just not necessary to the show. The show was doing just fine. They should have gone out with a bang instead of like, oh, let's add all these new characters and try to make the show good, but it's actually going to get, like, not so good from here. I don't remember what season Dill came into the picture. It might have been season five. It was either season four or season five. Um, definitely not season three because season three is my favorite. Um, but, what's up, Angelica? Thank you. Um, what? I don't have any cookies now. That's lame. Okay, I'm going this way, even though she's gonna run into- wait, is she gonna run- yep, she's gonna run into me again! Crap. Um, I didn't have anything to lose. I should have just gone on the other space. Um, so, anyway, what was I talking about? I don't know. Well, I know I was talking about that controversy and those arguments, but... Oh yeah, going out with a bang. And writing well. Yeah, they just totally twisted things the wrong way, because then they added all growed up. Growed? I don't know if it was spelled growed or grown. I think it was all grown up. Whatever. Um, that was just absolutely terrible. The special was awesome! Like, I loved the special. I thought it was, like, epic. Um... Oh, well, that's what I was talking about, too. My favorite season. My favorite season is season three, so I know that didn't have Dill in it, so it was either four or five. But back to all grown up, I loved when they had that special. Um, and I might have shared this on my in my other video portions of this on Five Lost Levels, but when that... See? what I, I knew that would happen. What happened um, that day when it was airing? I was so excited. Um... I was actually at my, like, grandpa's house, and I was like, we have to watch this! He was, like, watching the game or something, and my sisters and I made him turn it off so we could watch All Grown Up. Um, he's like, okay, whatever. We were like, it's only a half an hour. Like, we had so many arguments so we could watch it, though. Anyway, um, there was a big tornado, like, going on. A big tornado warning, I should say. Well, I couldn't look anywhere else! Okay, so see? There we go. The... Um, the magnifying glass spaces in the room I'm in changed to sandboxes and now they're safety squares so Angelica cannot get you if you land on one of those. But it also means that all the treasure is gone in that room. You found it all. Um, 
so anyway, yeah, there was a big like tornado watch, tornado warning going on, and we were also so we were switching back and forth like between all grown up, the special, and then like a game was on, and the the weather channel too. We kept switching back between all those. We were like, we can't do this. We have to watch the special. It's on right now. Oh no, Dill's gonna shuffle these spaces, but it really doesn't make any difference because we found all the treasure in there. Um. So that was kind of a fun sideline story. And those are like all my arguments. Wow, I talked about a lot of arguments and there's pretty much every controversy to do with uh, Rugrats. Um, but again, it was my favorite show as a child. Um, like my favorite Nicktoon. So of course I'm naturally going to have a lot to say about it. And I'm naturally not going to want to follow Angelica or take a nap. Um, one, two, three, four. Where am I going? Let's go through here. Because this is like the only room that things are still... Okay, there we go. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I pretty much got like, all the controversies out of the way. Um... I don't know, I'm sure I'll think of more later, but yeah, I was so attached to the show and loved it so much as a kid that, you know, I, I, I can't help but talk about it a lot and, like, talk about the issues with it, I want to say. Ah, I'm ready to go! Okay, so, um, next I want to talk about my favorite episode, just to get that out of the way, too. Um... My favorite episode is Angelica Breaks a Leg. It's the famous, what I refer to, the chocolate pudding episode. Uh, which many people I know love this episode. Um, including my family. They're all like, oh yeah, I remember this! I love this one! Like, yep. Oh good! The room I, like, devoured with my searching skills is now, um, turned into safety squares. Um, oh, and I'm still in here. Oops. Um... Or I just got in here. That's what happened. So yeah, chocolate pudding episode is definitely my favorite. Oh, Spike! What's up? Um, let's go this way, because I need to go back in this room so I can go in a different room now. Um, I don't want to take a nap, but I don't really... I don't want a toy card either, so we'll just take a nap and get more energy. This looks like a good place to live. Um... I don't know. I love Stu in that episode. Oh gosh. Aside from the babies, it's a hard choice. Because, like, Tommy's my favorite baby, like, hands down. Um, or infant, I should say, because Angelica's not really a baby, but she is an infant. She's only supposed to be three, but she... Really, Angelica's character should have been, like, five. Because, or, you know, at the very least... Four, four or five. Which I think she has a fourth birthday, doesn't she? Like, I remember that birthday party episode, but I can't remember if that's when she turns four or she's, like, afraid of growing up or whatever. I don't know. That episode's really funny. And her mom's, like, planning that huge party for her. Um, and she doesn't want to get older, I think. Oh, gosh. It's been so long since I've seen that. I really wish they still aired the Rugrats cartoons. And I heard they were going to make new ones, maybe, but... I mean the old ones. Like, I want the old ones back. Just play reruns. And they used to play reruns, like, every Saturday morning, and now they don't. They just straight up won't play the reruns anymore. So I'm like, what? Come on. Don't play me like that. But yeah, other than the babies, who's my favorite? Um, because I love Stu, and I love the grandpa. Like, they're both hilarious. Um... I don't, they're all just so... They're all such great characters. I don't know. Maybe I'll just say those are my top three and leave it at that. Tommy, Stu, and Grandpa. Um, and I always love the kind of mom Dee Dee was. Like, she seemed like such a good mom. <laughs> like, kind of overwhelmed, but like, calm at the same time. Like I said, all the characters were written so well for this show. I loved it. Um, well, who do we have but anyway, yeah, I just watched the 
chocolate pudding episode like last week too like um literally one week ago today uh because my sister um i was at her apartment and she has like oh wow i'm still i'm on spike again okay that works uh, my sister has Netflix, like, on her Wii, which I need to get now, because that is really, really awesome. Um, and it has the, like, all the Rugrats episodes, like, I, I was just like, oh my god, we have to find my favorite and watch it, so I just watched it, like, um, like, just a week ago, so I was so excited. <laughs> I've not seen that episode in so long, and I love that episode. Um, so my family and I watched it. It was a lot of fun. Um, and I had a great time watching that. Um, so yeah, I really wish they would air those still. So I can see these other episodes that I want to talk about. Um, and we can take another trip down Nostalgia Lane. Okay, so that room needs, like more treasures to be found, and the room I'm in is really small, so I can probably find all the treasures in there. Um, so if you can't tell already, um, these boards actually take pretty long, so um, that's why I went with a medium instead of long. Um, but there's plenty of time to talk, because I have plenty to talk about with this show. Um, I didn't really talk much about Susie, or, you know... Not just Susie in this, but in Saturday Morning Cartoons. That was never something I really... Is this really like the only spot I can search in? Now I get wow, now you can search double! Oh good! I turned it into safety squares! Okay good, there's nothing else in here either. Um, I didn't really talk about Susie. I really, like... I really do love the episode where there's a blackout. Or like, the power goes out. And, uh... Somebody, I think it's Susie, has that book on monsters, and they think there's one, like, living in the basement or something. And, like, they go down there to fight it, or to figure out which one's which. Um, or which one it is, I guess. Like, that episode is great. I always loved that episode. It was one of my favorites, and I feel like I always watched it at night, like, on Saturday night, so it always fit the mood really well, and I was always excited when that episode was on. And I liked how her character was in that episode, but in the others, um, she almost was, like, too big of a goody-goody, like, um, to the point where she was just too smart and, like, had too awesome of a life <laughs> compared to the rest of them. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, her character never bothered me to the point, like, with Dill or Kimmy, like, I feel that she was necessary on the show because she was kind of, like, the big kid that looked out for the babies, whereas Angelica picked on them. She had, like, a tough love for them. Uh, because there were episodes where she did stand up for them and everything else, because she really did like them. But, um, she was bossy. She was very bossy. And Susie's just, like, compassionate. So, I mean, her character's not bad. It's just, I, um, I felt like sometimes her, her personality was too exaggerated. Like, to the point where it was like, okay, what's, what's wrong with this chick? Um, so, uh, I did love her family, though, like, she had that huge family, like, with all the sisters, and, um, she had brothers, too, I think, or how many sisters did she, I can't remember how many sisters she had, I know she had more than one, I don't know, but I didn't really talk about her much ever, so I wanted to say something about her, um, and feel free, anything I've talked about, feel free to leave um, a comment about, <laughs> or your opinions. Uh, please share your opinions. Um, oh wow, I didn't realize I got a 5. Okay, good. I can go somewhere, like, okay, what up Spike? Um, do I need to go over this way? 3, 4, I'm going to lose cookies, but I don't care. Because I have to go to the crib anyway, so I'm not really going to do anything beneficial. Um, hey, Mom. How's it going? <laughs> anyway. Uh, what? Now, I had another topic I wanted to talk about with this show. 
Baby can never have too many cookies. Well, you're cool, Chucky. A lot of people, when I play this for Saturday morning cartoons, they said they loved the Vegas episode, like when the babies go to Vegas, and like, for some reason, I cannot remember that. Like, I can't remember it hardly. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just not thinking of the right episode at all, but I cannot remember it. Um, I don't know. That's just so strange. That, Because, like, every other episode people pointed out I could remember, but not that one. <coughs> I don't know. I'm confused. Another episode... An Angelica-based episode, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, is the one where she goes to, like, camp. It's, like, with Susie. It kind of goes off the topic of that. And, like, Susie's really awesome at camp or whatever, and she hates it. And, like, she can't do anything right. And, like... I remember she has, like, that class with the wood... Um, the wooden popsicle sticks. And... <laughs> I don't know. But, um, I remember... Like her going there and she hates it and like doesn't she tries to like hide in the the porta potty or whatever and that kid like brings her food um and then the teacher finds her there and like forces her to get in the camp and then by the end she actually likes it but she goes home I always loved that that was like a great message to kids too like without even realizing it um but I always love that episode um. I guess, really, my favorite episode does uh, revolve around Angelica, so I, I do love her as a character, even though she's like a big brat, and, like totally spoiled, and you want to slap her a lot of times. But um, her storylines were always really good, even though she was a sucky, like, you know, sucky's not the right word, like she was a bratty person to the characters you really, really liked. She was absolutely necessary, and they did, like, great things with her character. They wrote her very well. Um, because even though you wanted to slap her or, like, punch her at different points in time, like, you still, uh, you still felt sorry for her on other occasions, and, like, you still liked her character. It didn't make you think, why is this character even on the show? Like, at all. So, I liked that. What up, Chuck? You know what I haven't said yet? And it's like way, way, way into this, like, video now? Or this board, I should say? I haven't said Happy Easter yet, and this is actually being uploaded on Easter, so... To everybody who celebrates Easter, happy, happy, happy... Wait, sing the happy, 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 happy song. I should have said happy, 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 happy Easter. Even though it's kind of cheesy, I'm going to say it anyway because it fits the mood. Um, so yeah, happy Easter, everyone. Uh, talking about Easter, it is like my second favorite holiday ever. Uh, so <laughs> second or, I don't know, I have like a top three system. Again, just like with the characters, I, I can't get over a top three system. Um, I can't just pick like one and then rank them. I don't know. Uh, but it is definitely in my top three favorite holidays. I always see all my family then. We have a big dinner. I love the spirits and what Easter's about. Um, and on a more commercial level, Easter is just absolutely fantastic with how it smells, how it tastes. Uh, the candy, the chocolate, it all smells and tastes My so good. <gasps> yes! We won! Sweet! F yeah! So who won it for us? Who found the last piece? I can't remember. I don't know, but that's it! We won! Um, so, anyway. Uh, back to what I was saying. I love Easter. Um, so, I'm very excited that this is being uploaded for the first day on Easter, and um, thank you guys for watching and bearing with me through all my rants, and um, you can look more forward, you can look, not more word, but you can look forward to more 
uh, Rugrats Scavenger Hunt next weekend, so thanks for joining me, guys. This has been Madame Wario saying peace out.